Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Republican Espanola, where we are seeing the first start of the actual Great War, the Second Great War, World War II, whatever you want to call it. It's starting. Mm -hmm. The first part is when Germany invades Poland. Then the second part becomes when Germany goes attacks. Hungary is mobilizing. Belgium is mobilizing. The second part is when the uh, this is when the Germans go and go attack over here too. So we're seeing all this kind of play out, and we're having ICM capacity being built. So, I believe we can only build like a couple more in like a couple of these places, right? Yeah, no, you guys have a lot of empty spots, so we could probably use you guys. And let's see, we're moving all of our, moving all of our soldiers everywhere so that they can move. Let's see, technology-wise, we need to start getting more technology. So, get back to normal. Let's see. Uh, three-year draft. There we go. We need about right there. There we go. 1.0 officers. That way they make sure we have enough officers. Okay. Uh, we're doing the research of that. Radio detection combat. Uh, I kind of like this one. Get that. Let's see. Get more of this. Uh, get more of this. Okay. Uh, education, leadership, agriculture. Uh... Get more attrition, get more combat with. Let's see, go back to infantry. Get some more small arms, get some more of this, get some more of that. Being about one year ahead is good. There we go. Have all this being researched. Slider, slider AI. Alright, so the Germans are now going to move in. They're probably going to conquer a lot of different lands because, let's face it, this is Germany. Barcelona is majorly getting upgraded, by the way. Look at Barcelona. It's now like, it's like one of the most, like, technologically advanced cities ever like seriously its industry just like boomed in the last couple years like I would love to see that just like the city that was completely empty and then has a completely like strong industrial base that'd be fun to watch so anyways the Germans right now destroying Poland uh, soon the Soviets are actually going to get their other front they're gonna do the treaty where the Soviets move in on this side no nope. seemed like they didn't do that no but yes they did yes they did so now Germany's pushed back just a little bit and now Germany's going to move their sites over to France, UK, Belgium, and Netherlands. Just, and Denmark and Norway completely conquer everything. Move in a very rapid manner before all the other like European people try to stop him. And there we go. We're starting to actually build up more of our troops. Keep building up more of this line that they apparently want. Okay. And let's see. We're just kind of making more men so that we can kind of spread out everything. Okay, let's see. You guys, let's see what I want you guys. You guys go right. Disconnect. You guys go right here in Lisbon. That way we have some guards right there. You guys go right here, up into the north. Okay. You guys right here. Um... I guess where's another good city? Yeah, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. And there we go. Yes. So we have most of our troops being made. I'm trying to like comply. <gasps> yes. Yes. We are now a part of the Union. The Soviet Union. Yes, we are a part. Yes, I am happy to be a part of the union, and now we will bring the, um, I can't sing anymore. So anyways, yeah, if you guys don't know what that was, that was kind of the tune of the uh, Soviet Union uh, main, main theme song. I was kind of singing it in my own variety, but yeah, this is about to happen. Germany is about to go on a major conquest to go take over everything. Um, we do have worries though now, now that we're at war with, uh, Wait, does that mean that Soviet Union is also at war with uh, Pol with Portugal? That'd be ins that'd be insanely funny. That means Portugal allied themselves is probably going to be the Axis. And yes, as you guys can see, I'm fully, I'm fully, I'm fully a part of the common turn. The common turn accepts me. I accept the common turn. Let's do this. And right now, I'm just keeping all my uh, infantry at large. I guess keeping them all like grouped up. And let's see. Um, we have. Do you guys control all these three units? You guys control mostly all these units. Um, 
Yeah, you guys should actually disconnect and just group up with these guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys just, let's see, what unit is this? This is the HQ1. Yeah, you guys just group up with HQ1. Let's see, um, you guys right here, you guys should just go to this HQ. So let's see. Yeah, disconnect. Let's see, what's this HQ? HQ1 Corpse. HQ1 Corpse. You guys go to HQ1 Corpse. There we go. Let me guess, did you guys, you guys are already a part of HQ1 Corpse. Hmm. You know what I could have done is actually just create a new gigantic army with that. And let's see, when these guys move down here, you guys are going to be part of HQ1 Corps. I mean, HQ1 Division. Okay? That way you guys defend the city. There we go. And let's see, we have our troops moving in. Troops definitely ready for this. Oh, I guess. I'm ready, I'm ready for when we have to go fight against Germany. I feel like I'm ready when we go fight against Germany. Although, we don't have exactly the best amount of troops. But we have our last little bit of ICM being built up. And honestly, we needed that ICM build up for a little bit because we needed that 71k. Okay, we need this 71. Available right now, 71. How much are we actually using? 71. Good. So we are using the maximum amount of our ICM mostly. There was about 4 ICM we could give away. But I kind of like having this kind of buffer zone between us and our supplies. Um, yeah. Let's see, has Germany done Blitz and Klieg yet? Okay, usually the phony war doesn't end until like after 1940, so you have to wait a little bit, but um, it looks like the Soviet Union is already gearing up towards stuff, but just to make sure that we can instantly uh, deal with these guys, install, spread the people's revolution of homie. Okay, just so that we don't have difficulties, I'm going to have the Russian Empire to fight the uh, Romanians, destroy the Romanians, that way we have a different front, and that way we can instantly destroy stuff while the Germans are kind of occupied. That way we can defeat the Romanians without much difficulty, so that the Soviets aren't like completely caught off guard when they will join, most likely join the uh, other side. Romania just like gave up all of its land to like Hungary, that was kind of weird. Let's see, Cadiz is being attacked. You guys are strengthened up here. You guys are all linked up over here. Let's see. Let's see, you guys should be actually grouped up with this unit right here. Let's see, 7A. So let's see, 7A. There we go. Let's see. You guys, now that you guys are mostly all in position, I'm going to get you guys all into your respected cores of Madrid. Because I need you guys all in the Madrid core. Because I just want you guys all grouped up in one place. You guys are going right here to go protect Lisbon. Alright, you guys, who are you guys grouped up with? Huh. You know, I probably should create another core. Like, seriously? There's just way too many men that this guy has to deal with. Okay. Let's see. This guy has to deal with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, take off two of this guy. One. And then one from this guy. Uh, let's take off this unit right here. Okay, you guys move in right there. You guys move in right there, and then you guys move in right there. Okay, we're all good. I'm gonna have you guys group up into a new gigantic unit, and have you guys protect different places. You guys will basically be a part of the uh, Madrid core, so that you guys are instantly always getting the instant messages. You guys are in part of the Madrid core. Good. You guys are almost a part of the Madrid core. Actually, just become a part of the Madrid core now, and you guys become a part of the Madrid core. And let's see. Do I have any more men? Let's see, we have more men right here. I think this one could actually just stay here in Madrid. Because we actually could just use Madrid armies. Let's see. And let's see. Seems like you guys are moving back towards something. Okay, seems like everyone's moving back towards something. Huh? What the heck is going on? I'm so confused about what's going on. Everyone's moving away from the front. That's really kind of weird. Did my main people die for some reason? Did something like... Oh my goodness, what the heck. Okay, normal. There we go. Jeez, what the... You guys just destroyed all my officers. Units in poor supply. Really? Huh. I actually have really good supply limits right now. I don't know why. We're at 84% in terms of supplies. And yes, we're, cut, we're crushing through Romania. Well, the Soviets are kind of crushing through Romania. I'm making sure they have a less of a front to deal with when we have to go fight the Soviet, when I have to go fight the Germans. 
okay? Plus, I'll make me get a little bit more, too. Yee! Okay, so let's see. They're gonna kill off Romania. Most likely here very, very soon, which is good. We're gonna go back over here. Where's our main HQ unit? Oh, huh. oh, there it is! <laughs> I was like, wait, what the heck? So let's go. Let's go right here, put our war goals right there. Bordeaux, Marshall. There we go. We're gonna put them all up on the front. Everyone go up to the front. Everyone. I want everyone up to the front. Let's see, you guys don't need to be protecting the shorelines, trust me. It's not that important. Just keep on to the front. Keep on to everything. Let's see, you guys right here. Alright, you guys create a new core. You guys are going to be linked up to the uh, Madrid core. There we go. And you guys move in right there. That way we have a little bit more diversity with our army. Let's see. Yay! More of the Republicans took power. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. I can dig it. So let's see. All of our troops are now on the border. Wow, we have lots of supply units. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You know, having that many reserves right there in our capital is not going to be bad. Let's see, how much ICM are we wasting right now? Twelve! Holy moly, we're wasting a lot of ICMs. Okay, uh, build more of these guys. Yes, just keep building more of those guys until they finally, like, run out. Because we want to make sure we just keep building more and more. Just keep a constant production of them. Technology-wise... We have all of our anti-tech stuff doing pretty good. Um, we have our technology being pretty good. Let's already queue up some more stuff. Um, small, small is pretty much good for right now. Probably should get some armor divisions. Actually, now that I think about it, um, uh, yeah, maybe we should get some armor divisions. Uh, yeah, get a little bit of research into here too, if you guys can. I mean, I'm not sure if we're gonna have time for this. So let's see. Romania is now a puppet. That's good, so now Romania is now going to not be an annoying pest in the future. So let's see. So let's see. Um, Bulgaria hasn't entered in the fray, so uh, what we could do is actually have Conquest CB against these guys. Uh, install Communism. Okay, I want you guys to add Bulgaria as a puppet. So... Let's go do that instantly. Go get these guys also out of the war. That way our border is already basically moved up towards the front line of the Soviet Union. And we haven't even done anything. Alright. Uh, declare war. Uh, conquer. Let's see. I don't know how much land I'm going to get from all this. But just make sure the Soviet Union owns all of this. Conquer. And conquer there we go that way the soviet union owns all of this and that way we can instantly destroy them oh shoot they declared war on finland shoot i didn't mean to do that while they were fighting against finland oh no this might be a terrible idea well hopefully maybe they'll win quickly hopefully otherwise i will feel really bad i know it's insufficient research i'm just letting them all run at different times okay we're about to have nuclear research which is going to be nice Units supplied poorly. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are supplied poorly. Um, ICM wasted. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there building up all the stuff we need. So they soon won't be wasted. We have all of our troops willing and ready to go attack. Um, <laughs> this actually looks really cool. I'm not even going to deny. It looks really kind of awesome that we have our troops right there. We have the Soviet Union crushing through all that. Hopefully they're going to crush through all this. I'm not exactly sure though because I messed up and didn't realize that these guys were... Well, yeah. We must acquire it. Yes. The United Nations. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing, but... We're going to try to make it a thing. Let's see. Politics-wise. Uh, Intelligence-wise. Bulgaria. Yeah, we want to make sure. Stab back. Luxembourg. Oh, shoot. Germany's already doing its massive Blitzenkrieg. But they didn't go through the actual Blitzenkrieg area. They didn't go through the national-wise Blitzenkrieg area. Are they actually keeping... Huh. 
They're actually trying to move through the Maginot line. What? Dude, Germany, that's not what you guys are known for. You can't exactly push through. Well, actually, they are pushing through. Wow. Well, it's going to be insanely slower because you guys did that. But at the same time, if you guys do that, you guys also give me land, too. I own just a little bit of land. I own, I own like a little bit of land. I'm just going to see how much land I can snatch from these guys. See how much my ICM rating can go up because of it. I mean, I don't really care about this land, but I want to make sure I at least have land over here. Enforced, allies, Germany's just crushing through all this. I mean, not Germany, Russia is Soviet Union. I should just say Soviet Union is crushing through all this. It's good. I'm glad. We're going to be crushing through Bulgaria. That means we instantly already have good borders with the uh, Germanic Empire. They, they're not going to be able to do anything. We basically have this much of an influence of everyone let's see I actually have a decent ICM rating right now that's actually kinda cool okay and now that we're done with that now the people now these guys go turn their sights over to here to go try to go defeat the uh, people probably not though I mean go defeat the uh, Finnish hopefully they can get that done before we have to go deal with Germany because Germany's gonna be an annoying pest to deal with and I really don't want them to kinda do all that while not dealing with Germany and let's see, is there anyone else we probably need in our sphere of influence before we go fight against major countries of the war? Probably not, and dang, I gotta admit, Germany, that was like the slowest... Oh man, I mean, you guys crushed through France, don't get me wrong, but seriously, you don't go through the, ma the Maginot line. The reason why you guys won in the first place was because you guys were smart and said, Hey, hup -a -dup, let's go through, let's go through Belgium. Hup -a -dup, that was a smart idea. Hup -a -dup, it really was. Okay, we have a little bit of land here and there you know what I'm just gonna add my own uh, conquer causes belly against uh, well actually this is really the Soviet Union war so I'm gonna let the Soviet unions fight it but yeah uh, we have a lot more ICM just because we just like conquered random pieces of land out of nowhere okay and let's see hmm Hmm, let's see. For our victory conditions, we would need what? Romania is a puppet. Finland is a common turn puppet. Poland is a common turn puppet. East Germany, Greece is a common turn. Uh, Tokyo, Munchen, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Czechoslovakia. Okay. Greece is probably going to be the next part we're going to declare war on. Let's see. Uh, puppetry of the Greeks. Yes. Go right there, declare war. Oh, sh shit. Now that is not good. That is not good at all because I just made the Soviet Union declare war against Britain and all their allies. So we just ended up at war with France without really intentionally doing so. And we're about to do a massive blitzkrieg against France. Shoot. That was not intentional. Oh man. Now the Soviet Union is definitely going to have to be dealing with a major enemy. I mean... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, well, anyways, I'll have the Soviet Union, I guess, go crush on more people so that they can go crush on uh, the British Empire. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that was definitely not my smartest move ever. <laughs> okay. And apparently, we're moving in with... Are those... Is that my land? That's my land. How are we moving in with my land? Okay, for some reason they're moving in my land. I don't quite understand that. Let's see, over here, we're just kind of crushing through all the Frenchies. France is not really going to be much of an issue. I don't believe they are because we already have most of the land conquered. Yeah, look at that. Mm. going to be... We're going to be ending up at war with America, guys. Uh, the fall of France. There we go. Okay, so the shameful defeats... France is now out of it. Let's see, are you guys, what are you guys, guaranteed independence by Germany? Dang it. Hoping maybe I could get a good, quick one in there. Okay. Let's see, Germany is now fighting everyone. Oh, man, this is, this is not exactly good, people. This is not exactly good. I'm not even going to deny. We have a little bit of a problem now. Because now we basically have a gigantic Germany fighting everyone. And now I have the massive annoyance of, of the, uh, Oh, shyster. Hey, hey, guys. 
Get your bolter. Get all that. Stop them. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.